All right, this is one of my multi-species containers here. Uh, you can see I have three listed on here. It's the uh, the tag is never staying for some reason. Um, the Pycnocellus striatus, the ember roach, the uh, Gynaloridas, and that's the uh, porcelain roach, and the Henschel tendenia flexivita, which is the giant lobster roach. And I also have um, this again, this is a Sterilite bin, 24 uh, quart, I think, completely sealed with a Vaseline barrier because a couple of these that I have in here, like the um, Gynaloridas, can climb. So I want to keep that. Um, Vaseline on there to keep them from doing it. Um, overall, I never really have a problem with escapes with these guys. They, they, they can't really get over the barriers at all. Um, they're relatively easy to contain, and they usually stay within the substrate. The only ones that sit on top are the uh, lobster, giant lobster roaches, and they, uh, the, the nymphs of these guys actually, they like to hide, but the adults, they are definitely a, uh, one that wants to stay above, and they, they stridulate just like the other lobster roaches do. I don't know if you can hear that squeaking this guy is making. I guess that's the, they scrape their pronotum, this uh, covering on their head against their wings, the elytra covers. So, and they make that little squeaky noise, kind of vibrate against it, kind of like a uh, katydid did or a cicada. Um, you know, they make the noise just by vibrations. Uh, let's see here. Here's one of the gynoloritas. Um, they're little little guys. Uh, this is one of my few adults. I only have, an, uh, I think, a pair of adults now. This is, a, I think, a male. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they can climb. He can't get over the Vaseline, though. But they can fly. They can fly. The they usually don't try to really fly out of this container. They're not very good at flying, in my opinion. Um, if I can find one of the discoids in here, I'll uh, show you why I have them, or explain why I have them rather. Um, I have a really large discoid, or at least what I thought were discoid colony, at the top of this uh, rack up here, and. It turns out they're actually hybrids. They're not purebreds, even though they are sold, for, sold to me as uh, purebred discoids. But um, Kyle from RoachCrossing.com, uh, some of you know him as Zephyr on the um, All Pet Roaches or Arachno boards, he, uh, he and I have been dealing with the roaches a little bit here, and he, in my last order, included a couple of purebred discoids because he knew I had these hybrids. Um, he's very... Um, very adamant about the purebreds being in the culture, uh, so I'm I am as well, honestly. So I um, I'm pretty happy that he included a few in my order here. Uh, that way, I could cull my hybrid colony and kind of replace it with these purebreds once they actually get to uh, once they get to size. Um, this is a nymph of a Gynalarita. If I can get it to stay in my hand for a moment, it's very fast for some reason. Normally they're not that speedy. And it just won't stay. I wanna... It's being stubborn. There it is. It just wants to jump out of my hand. I don't know why. So the uh, anyway, the the purebred discoids um, are gonna stay in here until they become adults and start breeding, and then I'm gonna pull them out and put them in the uh, the tank where the other colony was uh, and once I call them and pull them out of there. Next up is the uh, Pycnocella striatus, the uh, ember roach, if I can find one in here. Uh, they're very, very, very shy roaches. Um, I'm lucky I even see them once in a while, honestly. Even digging through the substrate, I rarely see them. Um, so, if you give me a second here, I'll hopefully dig one out. They're very shy roaches, very fast burrowing. Um, they don't like to be out of the substrate at all. So, they're usually pretty hard to locate.
Okay. So I have a uh, female in my hand here. This is about as big as they get. And that is the ember roach. They don't like being out of the substrate. They really, they just want to hide. And they're they're very pretty roaches, I think. But they, uh, they're, you rarely see them. So, I mean, it's cool to have them, but they, uh, they definitely like to, to hide from you. They don't like being out in the light like this. But they breed pretty well in a deep substrate like this, and I've had no problem with them whatsoever. So, there's my female, Gunner Lorita. She's a little bigger than that male that I saw earlier. And I'm hoping that she and that little male over here, you can see the different sizes. If I can get them to stand on the hand together. Oh, let's see if I can do it that way. Um, there's the female, and the male is right there beside her, so you can see the different sizes. Uh, but I'm hoping that they breed in this tank, because like I said, they didn't do well in the dry tank that I had them in. Um, but anyway, I keep these guys in here. It's They like to dig, dig in this deep substrate, and they, they like to just stay hidden, you know, mostly. So, you know, again, Hesleen Barrier is completely sealed with a substrate. Um, I feed them half an apple a week. You can see that sitting in the corner there. They've eaten maybe a quarter of it. I'll pull that out, throw a couple pieces of dog food in one of these plastic containers here, and they're good to go for another week. Real easy to take care of. Um, I keep them in front of a heat lamp just so they uh, stay warm. Just because they are a uh, semi-tropical, most of these guys are semi-tropical species. So, Anyway, if you guys have any questions, give me a shot and I'll let you know.